food wrapped up properly. There's nothing you can do about it. Some foods just seep. And this is why I use the boxes as liners. This is an example of the delivery I completed today. I opened up the boxes. I placed the food on the boxes. So when they scoop out their food, if there's any spillage, they could just fold up those boxes and place them in the pail. They don't have to, the table won't get sticky, it won't get messy. It's a great idea. I'm giving Spark a try because they rang me and I want to see what kind of bonuses they're giving. When I did, did the, completed that delivery, the woman came up to me. She said, thank you for setting up our food. We really do appreciate it. And she gave me a 20. This was a great way to kick off a Monday, a $60 delivery. And they really appreciated the service. Someone treated them to food. They wanted to know who it was from. They believe it was from a construction company and they were treating them. I'm at Farmingdale picking up a double drop off. Not the highest payout, just under 15 bucks. And one order is really large. But I wanna see if I can qualify for that $24 bonus today. So after this, I'm hoping to get, receive two more orders from either Farmingdale or Levittown. And it's because the one that's qualified trip already, you see there? That was from yesterday, from Levittown. So now I'm going to compare it because I know what I'm looking at. I'm training myself to understand. I just delivered a one item package. The guy comes running out of the store. Both orders I delivered, I had to receive a signature. And he goes, excuse me, excuse me. These are Beats headphones. I, I guess, I I'm not sure. I think they're high-end headphones. I'm like, sir, I'm just a delivery person like Uber Eats. I don't work for Walmart. I didn't place the order. Sorry, Spark's sending me offers and I don't have my Spark on yet. I'm gonna turn it on in a moment. And I guess he got a great deal for the money. You know, I just thought that was weird. I'm like, I don't know, I'm just a delivery person. I just looked it up. This picture right here, that's what I delivered in red. They're 60 bucks, they're $59.95. So I guess the guy got a good deal because the kid who signed off and grabbed the package from me for his boss came running outside going, wait a minute, these are Beats. These are Beats headphones, earbuds. And I was like, I told them what I just told you. So I guess the guy got a great deal and didn't pay full price for those headbuds. They want me to verify my identity again. Okay, it says Spark now. All right, let's do this. Now I'm just confused. I don't know what happened here. It's glitching like crazy. Come on. To keep your account secure, we need to make sure it's you. I'm fine with that. Oh, maybe I have to shut it off. Still processing. Or turn it on. I don't know what's going on here. I had to turn down the app, sign out, turn off my phone, and they told me to make sure that the app is up to date. It was glitching. So now I open it up and it says, and I re-sign in, deals for days pickup. Pickup will be a bit different, but we'll walk you through it when you arrive at the store. Okay. Be sure to scan order labels. Got it. You'll need to scan these at pickup and drop off. The pickup notes will help you recognize order labels. Snap a photo at drop off. This is stuff we already do. Maybe they're just updating all the information. Bulky items equal more earnings. Bulky items may include bicycles, furniture, TVs, and other large items. Well, if you have a larger car. And can you lift that? That's a problem. If you can't, if you can't lift the products that you're delivering, then you can't deliver them. If an order contains bulky items, you'll see a bulky tag on the offer card. Extra earnings will be included in the offer estimate. Hey, if you got a larger car and you could deal, you can deliver bicycles and TVs and furniture. More power to you. Get orders that fit. Adding your vehicle size info. Okay, that's why I, I put in my Spark app. I drive a hatchback because that's all I can handle. 
identity verification. This is where it glitched. Get ready for that programming. Six feet apart. Get ready. It's all about programming. Control. Done. Yay. Now I'm going to spark now. And I'm going to say two o'clock. And hopefully I'll get another one. They were sending a lot of offers in. I had it off. And offers were coming in. The app was just glitching all over the place. And the customer service helped me. This order came in an hour ago. It's $7.69. Pick up in Uniondale. I'm in Massapequa Park. Drop off to Merrick. There's a reason why no one's taking it. Because it's $7.69. Unless they're in the parking lot or they're in that area, it's not worth taking this order. They sent it to, to me again and they upped it another dollar. Pick up Valley Stream, drop it to Queens. No, thank you. That went up from... 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, four dollars in like 10 minutes. They keep sending it. No, that's good. I guess that's, this is how these apps work. They want to see how low someone will work for, and then they continue to increase the payout, just like what happened with Para yesterday. I mean, that offer went out Saturday night, and I didn't take it, nor did many other people. I happened to check my phone in the middle of the night. They upped to 10 bucks. They wanted that delivery delivered. And I got a $30 payout. They sent it again. Now it's $17. Reject. It just keeps going up and up and up. Now it's $18. Same order. It's been a few months. I'm going to give it a try. It's a $20 payout to pick up at a Home Depot. And I'm picking up gravel, like a 40 to 50 pound bag of some kind of pebbles. So let's see if they got this worked out. Because I stopped taking orders at Home Depot through Spark. Because the three times I accepted an offer, there was a problem all three times. Pea pebbles are very heavy. These are... These are 50, 60 pounds. Oh my goodness. That's how I feel. They're heavy. They're wet, they're heavy, and they're messy. But the order was there. I walked in. I asked, where do I pick up Spark orders? They said, I could take you right now. They had the cart right near the register, and I'm um, good to go. So here we go. Here we go again. Uber Eats, facial recognition. They want me to confirm I guess that's it. Thanks for verifying. Again, para. Credentials issue. We need an update on your Grubhub credentials. So, of course, I resubmitted my info. I wonder how many times this week that will happen. When this happened to me, I wanted to keep it private. I, I didn't want to share the information of what place wanted me to work for them for free and only work for tips. And now I don't care because it's people like this that they are a part of the reason why the world is turning into what it's turning into. And now I don't care. Paquito and Merrick, you wanna come near me, lady? You go right ahead. Imagine how I felt when she said to me and wanted, she, she was working me. She, you're my friend, you're this, you're that. She started talking to me, she started blowing, you know, smoke up my coolie, and then she wanted me to work for her for free. 1602 to drive to Flower Hill. It says it's past East Hills for, and it's 17 miles one way. Are you out of your bird? One way. That is bizarre. But this is the place that said to me, you use your car anyway. And then she finally stopped calling me. I think she got the point. 
It was like, you know, I'm home. Well, I have orders, but you're not paying me. But you work for tips. You drive anyway, but I'm not out. Oh man, that was, that was about a year ago. Now I don't care. It's time to call people out that don't treat people kindly and kind. That they actually think that you should work for them for free. You could tell I'm frustrated. I hope you enjoy the video clip. Be careful, everyone. Anyone will use you as much as they can.